Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a kind of diet and weight loss related video. Um, I kind of make a habit of not really weighing myself because I find I can get really obsessed with it and it's just not good for me because I've got a bit of a compulsive sort of weight thing if I let myself. And um, <clears throat> But I hadn't weighed myself in about six months. And yesterday I was, at, was staying at my boyfriend's parents and I just hopped on their scale in the bathroom thinking, you know, uh, just to check. And um, I've actually put a stone on. Um, and I've, I kind of have noticed that I've put weight on, I just didn't realise how much. And I'm really short, I'm only five foot one and a half. And for me, that's quite a lot of weight. It's quite higher than my normal um, weight. And I, um, I'm i not going to say how much I weigh, not because I'm bothered, like I, I really don't mind telling you, but just in case there's people who, you know, weigh more than that and then I'll sort of feel like, oh, if she thinks she needs to lose weight, then what am I? And that kind of thing. And it just sets a bad example. So I'm not going to um, say how much I weigh. But I've realised that basically I've just been eating really unhealthily, eating whatever I want, whenever I want. I could, eating really big quantities, like I could really easily just polish off a whole packet of um, Pringles, they're my favourite, and not even kind of realise it. And just been sort of really uncontrolled about the portions, about the times, about what I've been eating, and it's just been really bad. And it's not kind of, it's not healthy, and I've been kind of feeling it. I feel quite bloated all the time and sluggish and that kind of thing. And um, I've not been eating my kind of normal healthy diet. So I decided that, you know, something has to be done, but I'm not going to get all upset and paranoid about it, which is what I would have done before. I took all the kind of Rosemary Connolly um, magazines that I had lying around the house, and I even bought the new one, and I just took, like, literally a stack of all of them, all the ones I had just lying around my house, and just sat down and went through them because the Rosemary Connolly kind of plan is a plan that I really like because I think it's kind of very easy to follow, very sensible um, and just kind of a plan that you can kind of work with for the rest of your life. And um, I decided that, you know, that's probably the route I should go, but I don't like kind of doing a diet plan. I like to kind of adapt it and do it my way. This piece of hair is really getting on my nerves. Um, I like to kind of adapt it and do it my way and um, kind of make little tweaks here and there. But the basis of it is kind of low fat. Um, I'm going to eat kind of small portions of food throughout the day and a larger meal in the evening just because that's what kind of fits around with my life at the moment. And um, kind of just, you know, healthy snacks and just not get kind of really worked in to eating um, crap again, basically. But I'm still going to, like, you know, go out for dinner and eat pizza and that kind of thing when the time comes, and, you know, and that's what I'm, I'll be doing. But um, not kind of excessively, if you know what I mean. And I'm um, trying to kind of not have dessert at restaurants and just watching it a little bit and hopefully I'll be able to just lose this kind of weight quite easily and keep it off and not fall off the dieting bandwagon because that's what I always do. I kind of get really into it and then just all hell breaks loose and I can't be bothered anymore and I don't want to do it like that at all. So I've decided that I'm going to keep a food diary on my blog. I'm going to write what I've eaten every day on my blog and um, and that way I'm kind of putting it in writing so I can see right in front of me what I've eaten and can kind of determine how to better it and, and that kind of thing. But also um, I think it'd be kind of useful for some of you as well because I'm vegetarian and I really, really love cooking. I love food. That's why, you know, I'm rubbish at diets because I just love food and I love cooking and I love making a lovely meal and sitting down and eating it. But um, obviously, you know, you can't constantly be cooking delicious things and expect to be slim. So I'm going to 
just kind of cook carefully and try and kind of make nice different things and I'm going to take photos of the things that I've made as well which I think will probably be quite nice for some of you to kind of see and um, and basically just sort of you know keep track of it so I'm going to link my blog in the description box below and I'm going to tell you what I am going to be eating so I think what I might do is um, I, I, I kind of plan what I'm going to eat every day but because I'm probably not going to have the time to post it in the evening maybe I'll post my plan and then say if I stuck to it or I don't know anyway I'm going to take photos of the things that I've made so if any of you like want to know how I made something then let me know um, I have been thinking of like starting a separate channel for like not weight loss as such but food but um I don't think the time's right just yet but um yeah I am um, I'm gonna post it on my blog so every single day I'm gonna write what I've eaten that day so I think that's really really gonna help me and hopefully you will like it and it will help you too and um yeah, there's loads of really great recipes in the Rosemary Connolly book that I'm going to try, in the Rosemary Connolly magazine, sorry, that I'm going to try and um, just kind of be really sensible about it. For example, I this morning I had a cup of hot water with lemon because that really just cleanses your system. So I had some hot water with lemon, um, a fruit smoothie, the innocent fruit smoothie, so they're really, really good for you and a small portion of all brand skimmed milk and I've also you know I always drink a lot of water but I haven't been drinking as much as I normally would lately so I'm back on drinking lots and lots of water you know my trick with the water bottles um I will put my video about water actually in the description box below for you and I've also started taking vitamins I start taking zinc and vitamin C because my hair is coming out a lot like every time I brush it or if I go like that it just comes out in massive clumps. I think it's just kind of stress related. I mean, look, just did that with my hair. Maybe you'll be able to see that. You can't see that, can you? Not at all, but whatever. It's a great big clump of hair just came out right there. So that is just, it's really annoying me. So I did a bit of research, and apparently, zinc is good for hair loss. So I started taking zinc and vitamin C because the vitamin C helps the zinc absorb more. And I've also just started taking a just regular multivitamin um, just because, you know, for your well being and that kind of thing. So I take those all at breakfast. And I'm going to make sure I'm drinking a lot of water, I drink a lot of green tea, and um, snack-wise, I snack on things like, um, I love carrot sticks with extra like mayo, or sometimes I'll have like a ravita with some low-fat cheese, um, that kind of thing. But basically, my breakfast plan is normally always the same, it's always cereal, just because I think it's a good mix of carbs and calcium and it's easy and keeps me full and my lunch is normally a sandwich again because it's just easy and I normally have well I always have brown bread with um low fat cheese and well like low fat Philadelphia for example and I put salad and cucumber and onion and that kind of thing to make it a bit more interesting so it's really yummy kind of thing and I like, I love crisps and I have to have crisps. So I eat the Walker's Bates crisps. They're a lot healthier and they're only 90 something calories a packet. So that's really good. Um, other snacks that I like are oranges and for kind of after dinner, sometimes I'll have a square of dark chocolate just to kind of not relax me, but kind of give me something a little bit good for the soul because I really like dark chocolate and I buy the organic green and black 85% cocoa chocolate. So, yeah, um, I might actually take you for a little, well, no, I won't take you for a tour of my kitchen because it's an absolute mess, but um, <clears throat> kind of share a few food tips and ideas with you if you want me to. But um, definitely make sure to check out my blog because I'm going to post at the end of each day. So kind of don't check now and then be like, you haven't posted anything. At the end of each day, I'm going to post with pictures and everything, um, what I have eaten that day. And that way we can all keep track of it and swap ideas and that kind of thing. And I think it'll be really fun. 
So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the whole idea, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.